the evolution of lithium-ion batteries and the products they power has seen an exponential increase in demand for lithium. This is forecast to continue well into the future. Typically, investors gain exposure to the sector via shares in mining companies that aim ultimately to produce lithium concentrate. ASX-listed Lithium Australia, however, aims to be vertically integrated across all levels of the lithium production cycle. In this way, it can market a more valuable lithium product, battery cathode materials. The company's mainstay remains its metallurgical technology, silage. Unlike conventional processing, it produces lithium carbonate without the need for roasting. This makes it more energy efficient. Silage can also recover valuable byproducts. Recently, however, Lithium Australia has expanded its business model to embrace other aspects of the lithium production cycle. At the company Zadersdorf Lithium Project in Germany, a scoping study is underway. The plan there is to supply hard rock lithium for processing into lithium carbonate concentrate using silage. The company's strategy has also included the purchase of VSPC Limited. Using proprietary nanotechnology, VSPC converts lithium carbonate concentrate into a more valuable product, lithium cathode material. With these developments, Lithium Australia has the potential to integrate from mine site to final production. But there's more. Recently, the company identified an escalating need for more and better recycling of lithium-ion batteries. Lithium Australia is now developing metallurgical technology to facilitate this. The company will use that technology to recover all the valuable materials within lithium-ion batteries, including lithium, nickel and, most notably, cobalt. With this expanded business model, Lithium Australia could become the first fully integrated lithium producer on the ASX. Importantly, however, each business unit is set up to work independently of the others and has its own timetable and target. So if the progress of one unit is delayed or if it's deemed incompatible with another, this need not delay commercialization of the rest. This strategy reduces the company's risk profile since it no longer relies on one aspect of the business for success. The company will also be less reliant on third-party agreements for source material and final refining. Full details of our analysis, including a detailed review of Lithium Australia's strategy and an explanation of each business unit, can be found at thesophisticatedinvestor.com.au.